Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. Dallas had a crazy offseason, but Christian Wood was the big new addition in town. First, let's dive into his stats last season from Houston. Things I want to highlight are his 18 points per game, his 10 rebounds per game, shooting 50 from the field, 57 from two, 40 from three, 57.6 effective field goal percentage. He's a high efficient shooter and scorer, and this could definitely help Dallas out after the loss of Jalen Brunson and a lot of movement this offseason. Christian Wood has a chance to be a high impact guy on a championship level roster around Luka Doncic. But in this video, we're going to dive into the film and see how he can help Dallas out starting at the defensive end. First thing I want to talk about defensively is Christian Wood in ball screen coverages. He was debuted a lot as a drop man and Dallas likes using drop coverage with their fives. And I assume that Christian Wood will get a lot of run at the five as a small ball option around Luka. But here are some things they showed that he can do at a high level in drop coverage. You see he does a really good job at backing up, retreating, and being able to guard the ball for that time that he needs to. He's really good at identifying the spots on the floor he needs to be to make plays, to block shots. He's really active and athletic, uses his size and length well to affect shots at the rim and also prevent easy shots by the roll. But I think the thing that made him special was his ability to recover out to pops and be a guy that could play on the perimeter. We'll talk next about his one-on-one -on -one defense, but in terms of retreating, he does a good job at first stopping the ball, allowing the main defender to get back in front, and then he hustles out, uses that athleticism and length to really get out to the perimeter, affect shots, and make plays across the floor. On these closeouts to the pop, he does a really good job at having active hands, active feet, being able to slide first, dribble or two, and also have the length to contest on the catch. Christian Wood can definitely come in and help Dallas improve in their ball screen coverage that killed them in their playoff run against the Golden State Warriors. But next, let's dive into his one-on-one -on -one defensive ability. It all starts with Christian Wood's athleticism and length. He's able to sit down, slide, move like a guard at his size, and also affect a lot of different shots in a variety of ways with that length. He's basically a 6'10 guard running around, and that size and movement ability definitely helps him in terms of guarding on the perimeter. But you can see throughout these clips, he does a really good job at keeping his chest as that primary point but he's also strong for that scrawny frame he has. He doesn't look like the strongest, most imposing guy on the floor, but he does a really good job at taking and accepting contact by the offensive player, making things 10 times more difficult for a ball handler. And as it comes to affecting shots at the rim, that length we've brought up earlier is what makes him really good down there. He averages a block shot per game, but he does a good job at just affecting a lot of shots down there. He'll slide, stay in front, change directions with his hips, and when the ball gets to the paint, he's able to wall up and also time shots well to block them. At the end of the day, he's just a really solid individual defender where he uses his physical tools and abilities to stay in front and make plays at the point. Dallas's fault last year was that Dwight Powell and Maxi Kleber weren't able to switch out and guard effectively on the perimeter. I think if Christian Wood can come in, be a five man that can switch and guard all positions on the floor, that will definitely help improve their already top 10 defense in the league and just make them more versatile at this end of the floor. I'm really excited to see how Jason Kidd uses them next year. Now, it's time to see how Christian Wood could help them offensively. Dallas offensively, everything starts and finishes with the pick and roll, so let's talk about how Christian Wood can fit in their ball screen attack as being a versatile screener. First things first, he could shoot like no one's business from beyond the arc. He's an incredible spacer, shooting nearly 40% from three last season. He does a really good job at spacing the floor, being a really good pick and pop threat, and also just an overall catch and shoot spot up threat on the floor. I think this ability to space could be exemplified and also amplified around Luka Doncic. I think he can go out there, be a great screen setter in any action that they've had last year, and he can just make it so much harder to guard because of his shooting ability. He's also a good screener. He's good at getting his feet set, initiating contact, and making them get in coverage. The one thing that I thought was really interesting about him as a diver, though, was that he does a good job at making himself available, whether that means the short roll or a deep dive. He takes his time and he's very patient on the attack. He knows the open areas on the floor. He puts himself there. He makes himself available to the ball handler. And when you have a guy like Luca as the initiator and ball handler in these situations, he'll get so many easy opportunities because he's already really good at making himself available. 
giving himself angles and opportunities to attack. But then when it comes to the roll, just look at how good he is as a downhill athlete. He's able to catch it, finish above the rim. He can finish through contact. He has good length and size. And also, if he has to be a late roll threat, he's a good sealer. He'll seal, get deep positioning, and finish those plays also. That ability that to make himself available is just very special, and it's fun to watch. But to finish it out, he's a really good vertical threat. You can see him getting deep in the paint on these rolls, finding cracks and opportunities to be a vertical threat when he has the opportunity to. I think the versatility of Christian Wood as a screener is a great part of his game, and it will flourish in Dallas. Now let's talk about Christian Wood's post-scoring ability. So as far as Christian Wood goes as a post-scorer, he does a really good job at sealing. We brought it up earlier in terms of his deep roll ability, but that applies also to just regular post-ups. He does a good job at getting where he wants to catch it, whether that's a mid-post catch or a deep post catch. He does a good job at just getting where he wants to be. And then once he has it, he's quick, he's nimble, he's a finesse post-move guy where he's going to beat you with spin moves, beat you with ball fakes, pivots, and stuff like that, rather than powering through you. He also has the ability to power through mismatches, but overall, his quickness, his decisiveness on the catch is what makes him special down here. And I also think that against bigger guys, his ability to face up and play out of that mid post area is really good. And overall, this area of his game to go and get his own bucket, be able to finish with either hand, be able to hit a 15 footer is what could really help Dallas out and give them another option to create offense. So to get out of the half court a little bit, let's talk about Christian Wood on the break. Christian Wood is a great athlete with the ability to run the floor like a deer. He's very quick for his size, he's nimble, and also moves very well. We brought up all these things earlier in the video in different capacities, but this time you can see him in the open floor. He's able to run alongside of his teammates. He's also able to push it himself. He can finish with either hand, he can finish above the rim, and as a rim runner, he can be phenomenal as a vertical threat in secondary offense or just late transition attacks and he could space the floor. So he does a variety of different things in transition and he can really help Dallas improve their transition ability and also allow them to get out of the, the nitty gritty of their half court offense. So to talk more about the skill set of Christian Wood on the break, you can see he does a great job at being a late seal rim runner. He could also be somebody that spaces the floor. He can also be a guy that pushes it. He can finish with either hand. He does a really good job at running alongside the ball, running ahead of the ball, and also, and I think most importantly, as a trail man. These last clips are him as a trail, and I think he flourishes and thrives in trailing the floor. We already talked about his spacing ability being a near 40% three-point shooter, and when it comes to the transition, when he gets it on the break in a trail situation, he has the opportunity and option to shoot it, to attack it, and really just play in space. He could thrive in these opportunities and create a lot of easy offense for Dallas and also help them improve their pace, improve their tempo, and also their overall half court flow with starting more possessions on the break. <music> Lastly, let's talk about Christian Wood on the offensive glass. His length, size, and athletic ability on top of the effort he brings to the backboards could definitely help Dallas out at the offensive end. He does a great job at putting himself in positions to make these plays on the glass. And then overall, just the energy he brings to the backboard. He's able to catch it high, keep it high. He's able to tip it in. He's able to dunk it off of an offensive rebound. He does a great job at just being able to do all these skill things while also just playing with high effort energy and also being able to take the physicality. Giving Dallas more offense possessions at the end of the day will definitely help them out and also to convert on these opportunities with somebody that's willing and able to give high energy and effort on the glass will yield more wins. Dallas, due to the loss of Jalen Brunson, has a huge hole to fill. I think Christian Wood can come in and really make an impact at both ends of the floor. Offensively, he's a three-level scorer that can rebound at a high level and also play make a little bit for himself and his teammates. And defensively, he can guard inside and out and make plays at that end of the floor. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and can see how Christian Wood can help impact in Dallas. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you in the next one.